Daddy so hard, but you don't know how to fly. Ain't you no good to make you cry? Sky is so high, but you don't know how to fly. Ain't it easier to make you fly? Here we go. So, module eight, customer interaction. Um. Customer service is the act of taking care of the customer's needs and providing and delivering professional, helpful, high quality service and assistance before, during and after the customer's requirements are met. Um, I had already given you all a definition of customer service before. What is customer service? This is one of the questions asked in the interview. So each of you must write a good answer and give a good answer. So customer service is meet. You can say meeting and um, exceeding the customer's expectations. You can say customer service is uh, meeting needs and desire of any customers. You can give any answer, but. This is basically what they mean by customer service is not only giving the customer what he is asking you for, but understanding his uh, uh, understanding the needs of a customer and doing it without him asking you, going ahead and asking you. So that is customer service. So we need you to understand. Customer comes into the hotel generally from his. Uh, while talking to him, by doing a PR, you generally understand what his needs are. Once the customer has already stayed, he is uh, he is very happy with your service. He repeats the staying. You already have a data as to if he is a frequent flyer or a frequent customer. You already know his likes and dislikes, so you have to be aware of that. So, suppose uh, like you have a lady customer. Who is uh, a frequent customer in the hotel? She likes flowers. You have to make sure that the bouquet, the flower arrangement is already in the room before she comes. Makes them happy that you have noticed small, small things that the person has liked. She likes a particular wine. She likes a particular uh, item. That thing should be there before she asks for it. That is your customer service, basically. Same in the aircraft in the airline. Whatever the customer, the passenger asks you, before that you have to understand what his frame of mind is and give it to him before. You know, not wait for him to ask you. It's without asking. So, customer service is uh, ACA group uh, sums up what is the meaning of customer service. Customer service is beautifully. Customer service is the ability of an organization to constantly and consistently means all the time constantly and consistently means every time exceed the customer's expectations. You have to keep your service good all the time if you want the customer to come to your hotel or come to your airline. In other words, customer service is meeting needs and desires of any customer. Um, I have for uh, I've not brought my notes, but I had given you all some customer service definitions three or four, which you can say when they ask you. But this question is a must for an interview. It's always there. Uh, so Google and find a good answer and write a good answer and keep it ready. Okay. Characteristics of good customer service: promptness. You have to be prompt. Do not delay. If you are delaying for any reason. Keep the person informed. The the worst thing you can do is you know like sometimes you put the person on phone, and then if you have noticed nowadays the call center people who are picking up the phone, they are asking you, do you mind if I put you on hold for some time? Have you noticed that? Yeah, they are asking you because it is irritating to just listen to that music and 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 all the time, and then so you have to ask the person whether you you mind if I put you on hold, and make sure that the hold period is not long. You come back fast. Don't forget the per person. The person is holding and don't. So promptness is very very important. Promises for delivery of products must be on time. Delays and cancellations of products should be avoided. So try to avoid it. If you cannot help it. Keep the person informed. The person likes to be informed. If flight is delayed, why it's delayed? They get irritated when you don't don't tell them why it's delayed. It 
you keep informing them now and then okay this is the progress this is this they are also happy this politeness is almost a lost art yes we have to be polite we have chosen our um, career in hospitality all of you airline hotel wherever once you choose your um, career in hospitality politeness is the first thing that you have to do you cannot start the day without a hello good afternoon thank you um uh, wishing at every part of the day is a must when you speak to seniors using their names with a mr is a must uh thank you and sorry you have to say it at every sentence so it comes any we indians especially are very conjuice in saying you i have noticed that so we don't say it easily like somebody on the road you come and you ask the directions and say how do we go here then man explains to you and you say okay and you walk off you don't say thank you you don't say thank you to rickshaw wala bus wala doesn't matter you have to say start at home start from your family then only it will come automatically to you it has to come automatically okay for any business and a thank you is appropriate when a customer makes a purchase or not even if he doesn't make a purchase thank you for giving us your time whatever you can say all customers should be treated professionally there is no customer high low this that no difference each customer should be treated same each passenger each hotel uh, guest to be treated same okay using this characteristic of good customer service shows the customer that you really care for them so if you uh, see somebody a big shot and give him that extra this thing and then a regular passenger you don't treat him well then it's bound to have a negative effect so never do that give them equal if you want to okay you have a very uh, frequent uh, customer or a passenger and you really want to give them little special make sure that you don't do it in front of everybody do it at the side but not in front of everybody okay personalization using the customer's name is very effective in producing loyalty customers like the idea that whom they do business with them knows them on a personal level three times um, frequent people flyers or frequent businessmen come and no um, you have to call uh, them by their names they also feel happy that you know the name also even in the when they come to you and they give you your passport immediately your first your first action should be to read the name and just immediately say good morning mr so and so good morning mrs so and so so they also know that you are aware of their names okay type of customer service there are different types of customer service that are provided by businesses the type of customer service that customers encounter will depend on the product and service a business provides what are the customers uh, what the customers needs are and whether the service is problem oriented or focused towards enhancing the customer's experience so we'll see the different types of customer service one is call center we all are aware of it there are one of the most basic types of customer service is the call center a large business will often devote an entire department for taking calls from customers nowadays it's uh, all the foreign and indian companies have this customer you pick up any phone for any airline any hotel it goes to the call center call center the representatives who work at the call center will usually be the first people to hear about the customers concerns and will either resolve the problem or contact people who can would they put you on hold if they cannot solve it and they as a manager or if they can solve it they solve it whether it's your credit card whether it's your booking whether it's your airline booking whatever the company call centers are the link between customers and the company and how they handle the customer concerns reflects on the company in a very important way so they have to be very polite very uh, efficient and see that they solve the problems because depends on them the, the person talking to them does not understand that it is a, a call center situated somewhere else he thinks he is talking to the company uh, the person so he has to be able to answer every detail whatever the customer asks and you know impress him if he cannot talk then you are lost one customer there okay 
technical customer service technical customer service involves the repair people who fix issues with products either in the customers homes or when the product is sent for repair technicians and repair people are often face to face representatives of their company and their knowledge and efficiency is an important factor when it comes to satisfying the customer and inspiring customer loyal so you have call center is the one aspect of it technical support is second aspect so the technical people also are nowadays put on calls and like call centers only they are, if they can solve the problem on the phone they will do it otherwise they will. you have to learn how to handle that part as well customer service stations often departmental stores and specialty stores have actual customer service stations if you go to the malls and go to the huge outlets like um, your what do you have in the chopper stop and stuff like that you'll see they have a customer service section at the side where you go to change or chroma if you go you have an issue you have a complaint you go to change they have this so they deal with you and they help you out with that so uh, again you should be able to go and res- they should be able to resolve your problem and to help you in whatever way you can this type of face to face customer service is extremely helpful to customers and has obvious benefits for both store and customer in this case you are not on the phone you are person to person so obviously what will happen is if you deal with that customer well it's a benefit for the store you will go back to the store somebody is rude nobody is going to that store again uh, in this age and uh, time uh, competition is very stiff you to keep up the business you got to have a lot of customer service with the airlines hotels departmental stores whatever so you need to hold every passenger every uh, uh, every uh, person who comes to buy you need to hold those customers so for that it's how you deal with them okay then you come to passengers with special needs we call them special passengers we do not call them by any other name no de- we understand that they are disabled but we do not call them passengers with disability we call them with special passengers a special guest special guest able uh, yeah but still we say special guests special passengers okay we understand that they are not not able to do their functions normally so disabled uh, passengers are generally offered a complimentary wheelchair even in the hotels they have a ramp even if you see any five star hotel they have a ramp for the wheelchair already made so that they don't have an issue service is provided free of cost provided the passenger is carrying a supporting document such as a medical certificate confirming the same mostly uh, they can see when the person is disabled they can see so they will not ask you but sometimes they may ask you that you we need a uh, this thing because in a hotel you can just ask for a wheelchair in the airline you have to book a wheelchair so in the airline there is there are more chances of them exactly while booking the ticket they ask you if in the aircraft they in the airline they ask you because um, for a medical certificate in the hotel they can see with your eyes so they may not ask you with that all not aircraft the right is breaking you not cannot hear no you, you can't hear you are watching breaking ma'am not understanding since 8 minutes since since lo- how long 8 minutes Hello. Ma'am, yeah. maybe some is wrong with this connection. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. ma'am. I can hear it properly, ma'am. I can hear it properly, ma'am. Okay. okay. No, one person is saying he cannot hear. Only one, only one person or anybody else? Might be his internet issue, ma'am. Oh, because see, the others can hear. They are saying. Who cannot hear? Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Perfect can't hear. Yes, madam. Since eight minutes, I can't hear anyone. Since eight minutes, he can't hear anything. Yeah, madam. Refresh your internet. Refresh it, man. Two times. Log out and log in. Oh, 
Nargis ma'am is saying log out and log in. Okay. So disabled passengers are, as I was saying, are special. We call them special passengers or special guests. Um, well, generally, they say uh, the com- the wheelchair is supplied complimentary everywhere. Nobody charges for that. Sometimes in the airline may charge for it depending on the availability of the wheelchair. All aircraft cabins are fitted with a special wheelchair. There's a special wheelchair in every aircraft which is kept inside the aircraft and which is smaller because it has to go in the aisle. Aisle is a place where you walk in the cabin. So that place is small so you need to a special wheelchair. So the passengers are brought on a regular wheelchair. They are trans picked up and put on the smaller wheelchair and taken to their uh, seat wherever it is. Same while getting off they are brought on the smaller wheelchair and put on the bigger wheelchair. Okay, uh, to help passengers with special need and elderly to move inside the cabin. Suppose they are unable to go to the toilet also, we have to bring that wheelchair, put them on and take them there. It is advised to inform while placing the booking. You have to inform when you book that you are going to need a wheelchair in order to prepare the required service in advance. Otherwise, last minute, you may have to wait for it. That's it. Disabled and special need passengers. Special need passengers are accompanied babies and children. Mothers traveling with babies and children, they need assistance. They are carrying a lot of luggage for the babies. Plus the babies in the, are in their hands, so it's your duty to help them out. Unaccompanied children are those children who are traveling alone without their parents. They need all possible help from us. We cannot, uh, we have to make sure that the children, right from the time we take uh, uh, in charge of the child till the, we give a charge of the child is in our hands is with our airline so we have to take care of him very very much pregnant women same we pregnant women are only allowed till to fly till about six months we are not allowed after seven months unless you have a doctor's certificate saying that she is allowed to travel uh, have to be careful because you may go into labor, may have a baby on board, you have to deal with that also. Not necessary, there will be doctor. If in the hotel, you can get a doctor. In the aircraft, not necessary. Doctor, there will be a doctor. In that case, the crew will have to do the delivery. Simple. Okay. Yeah. If you get a nurse or a doctor, you are very lucky. If you don't get, you are, you will be trained to do it. Sick passengers, disabled passengers, again, we have to look after them each ways. Uh, their meals, their the thing, the medication, whatever they need. Again, if the passenger falls sick in a hotel, there will be a doctor on call always. There will be a fixed doctor who will be told that we'll call you in emergency, and he'll be like on a salary basis. So he will be on call. But in the aircraft, it's not like that. If we are lucky, if we get a doctor, otherwise, we who learn first aid, we are the doctors for the time being. Okay. A type of travel and required documentation for passengers under these classifications may differ from each airline. So rules, regulations, documentation for passengers, special passengers may differ from airline to airline. It is recommended that you obtain information from related airlines. So it's better to call up the airline and ask if you're traveling with a special passenger, ask what are the rules and regulations. Okay. Traveling with the baby, you can fly with your baby between two weeks and two years old. Uh, when it's about two weeks or two years old, they generally don't need a seat. They are on mother's lap, but you need to book a special seat for them with the bassinet seat. It's a cot for the baby, so the mother doesn't have to keep the baby in the lap. She can put in the bassinet uh, seat. So, but for bassinet again. Just like wheelchair, you have to book a bassinet seat. You cannot come on the, the flight and say, I want a bassinet seat. You will not get it because there will be other children as well. Okay. You may request double space if you, you can travel in great comfort. Larger passengers. Sometimes there are huge passengers, obese passengers, very, um, very heavy. You get a lot of this from America. So... They don't fit in one chair, 
so in that case they can ask for two seats they can book they book two seats so that they can no they have to pay for two they have to pay for two because that seat is going wasted right it's a lot of money they have to pay uh passengers with impaired sight which means blind passengers again we don't call them blind passengers but we understand that they impaired sight uh you have to help you with at airport assistance somebody has to take them from the entrance to the check in counter you have to give them assistance at the check in counter you have to accompany them if they don't have somebody with them if they're alone you have to take them all through to the gate the ground staff have to do that afterwards hand over to the airline staff once the crew who will make sure where they are seated the crew will brief the blind passenger as to the seat he will make him touch the seat because the buttons are on the seat the, the relaxing buttons the uh the music buttons uh, the thing everything is on the seat so you make him feel he will show him where the oxygen is uh, he will show he will give him a mask to touch the oxygen mask because they understand only by feel he will touch the place where the life jacket is kept under the seat he will touch the life jacket they will take him to the toilet he will count the seat the steps to the toilet and back they will take him to the exit he will count the steps to the exit in case there is an emergency he has to get out of the aircraft he calculates by steps as to how he has to get out so they will take him to the nearest exit walking and they'll tell him this is the exit he will feel the exit he will feel the toilet and he'll come back okay so this is your assistance for the blind passenger also we will do a body uh, uh, body pairing also the passenger is sitting next to you you would tell him to look after you and help in case of emergency that's like having a buddy with you to help you out if he's traveling children traveling alone you we have already done that um, every need in the aircraft uh, you hand them over to the ground staff with with paperwork uh, ground staff also <laughs> have to do paperwork before the hand over to crew so both ways paperwork goes persons with reduced mobility means they may not be able to walk for long they can stand can walk they probably can go from their seat to the toilet but they cannot walk long distances like airport they, they, it's very far are right so they will need assistance so we can give them also pregnant women generally don't ask for a wheelchair but sometimes if she is in a if she wants we she may ask okay go up if you are pregnant see the requirements of traveling on the plane what they need is the doctor certificate that you are medically fit to fly and also how many weeks of pregnancy it is she has gone through so if, if it is like 7th 8th month and she has to fly for some reason then she has to be told that the onus is on her and its special permission is required airline has to agree airline's doctor has to agree her doctor has to agree okay generally it's not allowed disabled passengers service we provide at istanbul airport why istanbul at the airport for making travel okay these are the things they are giving you at istanbul airport for blind passengers so they their manual is written in braille so they can uh, specially designed to be visible and accessible by day and night so they can feel and read okay assistance centers in different locations you don't have to go through this it is everywhere crosswalk warning bumps indicating direction so these uh, this is only at this particular airport may not be everywhere okay so semi dome warning spots on the grounds they have those lights which warn you those can for people with reduced mobility and others who can't see they have the lights with warning cross uh, easy access to special phones belt conveyor uh, conveyors and escalators with painted steps all this is for people who have uh, uh, disability uh, 
designated parking areas for the disabled crosswalks for the disabled around terminals they have this uh, particular places for parking and for walking so all the cars will stop at that time yeah induction loop system for information desks for impaired hearing those who can't hear for them special desks all these specialities they give you handrails handrails even in the aircraft <coughs> sorry even <coughs> in the aircraft there are special toilets for disabled passengers um in that um, what happens in the aircraft ke, there are two doors for the toilet which open inside you have to push it and open inside and you have to fold it it's a folding door in disabled toilets you get only one door which opens like that the whole wheelchair can go inside they have big handrails to get up and they have the the flush the toilet flush is not at the back it's in the front so the mirror is tilted so that they can see their face sitting down so these are special toilets designed for disabled passengers also so every airline will have that every airline will have. Uh, so these kinds of ramps assistance so you don't have to go into details you just have to understand that it is special things are provided they take care of everything for disabled passengers in almost all airports they think about everything and everything is um, done for them okay how to avoid negative guest reviews no matter how much you are on top of your game and how hard you try sometimes simply things simply don't go as planned no worries it is natural that mistakes and mishaps happen from time to time the question is what are you going to do about it how are you handling the situation to avoid a negative review online you need a good hotel reputation management plan to deal with such situations to you stick to just basics or take it to another level let's be realistic we work in an industry which uh, where we are on stage 24/7 we can't be perfect all the time however hard we try guests are willing to accept things as well it just comes down to how we handle the situation so let's start with the basics first and foremost the guest wants to be heard whenever there's a problem we try our best to be nice when we are in any job still sometimes bad day bad customer you may have you get all types of customers you get nice you get bad you get uh, so irritating you can get many types of customers the problem is every day is not going to be same but the problem is how you deal with them how you take this it first and foremost rule is let him talk do not cut him let him vent he needs to vent means he needs to take out his anger he is ang- angry not at you he is angry at the cus- airline he is angry at the hotel he is angry at the uh, like uh, store whatever he is part of it so customer thinks you are part of it he wants to vent let him talk let him say what he wants first you hear him out do not interrupt him at all after he is done first say the word sorry we are sorry that's what he wants to hear so say we are very sorry that you had to go through this can i help you in any way can i try to make amends can i can i try to better the situation so take your time and show that you are really interested in what don't look here there and say ha huh, okay when he is talking and he is firing the worst thing you could do is look somewhere else and say i'm coming you know how we look at other people and because we just want him to say chalo bolo jo bolna hai no eye contact very important eye contact look at him make him believe that you are interested in this problem even if you are not you may want to kill him but still just make sure that you are interested listen to him yeah vent is to remove uh hindi mein bolte hai na bhadas nikalna so vent is to take out your frustrations so he wants to vent out his so you uh, it's like taking out from him so let him say what he wants apologize and then say sir i love now if you can better his situation 
don't make false promises if you can better a situation do it you solve this problem do it if you can't solve this problem say sir no i i cannot do it it's within it's not within my uh, range but i will get my manager to do it your manager will solve it because he has done so many he has sorted out so many problems that he'll know exactly how to but the point is never be rude when he's talking even if he's angry he's going to say a lot of things which you don't like never be rude never say give back any answer just say sorry let him calm down and say and i'll try and help you or just give me some time say it very nicely they will cool down 90% will cool down let me tell you that it's just that they are upset and they harassed and all 90% will cool down once you say how you approach the minute you say okay 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 i'll see and then ignore him and then let keep him waiting he's going to get very angry so that is your basic first and foremost thing so let him talk and get his frustration out he needs to feel taken seriously he needs to feel that you have understood and try and better the situation if you can deal with it deal if you can't deal hand it over that's all okay but don't tell him that i'll do it and then not do it that even bothers them even more than that dealing with a negative feedback it can be easy to get defensive when we get negative feedback we get angry right when we get negative feedback nobody likes to hear bad things everybody likes to hear good about themselves so what happens we get defensive means we tend to give back you know so what we need to ask customers is what led to their perception so if he gives you any feedback what we need to ask them is why do you think so tomorrow he says okay i don't like your hotel it's very bad your question is you are not going to say acha theek hai go to another hotel will you say that you can't say that though you would love to say that you can't say that what you will say is ki sir what makes you feel like that can i do something to change your mind to make it better he'll tell you what his problem is and he say what was the problem what upset you please tell me if i can help the minute you say that is going to calm down and he is going to deal with it okay this sometimes involves asking questions in a tactful way so ask questions in a nice way so what's the problem how can i help you the key is to show some empathy with the customer's point of view never tell him you are wrong show empathy means agree agree with him that yeah and tell him that i understand your problem you're absolutely right can i just tell you a way or this thing even if he is wrong make him feel wrong in such a way that you don't say he is wrong he'll automatically realize when you give your explanation that he was wrong yeah la like i told you no simple things with the no passengers on flight come late to check in when they're checking in they have given a boarding number on the boarding card that shows what number you have come to the airport now you have the sequence number now this is 300 seats you have come say to a your boarding number is 280 means 280 people checked in before you how are you going to get a choice of seats you will only get what is left right then you want five seats together for your full family now there are no seats so somebody gives you 11a 12c 15 a the person in charge is going that's all he can do now how will you deal with him now ground staff have even a better way to deal they said you go in on flight and they will do it they they give this answer ha huh. they give this answer yeah ha huh. no sometimes they don't give you a seat number when you book tickets online you ha huh. at the time you have to pay extra if you have to pay. so suppose you are traveling a family of five now you are going to get separate seats if you come last minute if you want seats go early to the airport but we never go early we go we start late then we have traffic then we have uh, you know diversions diversions we have diversions so what happens the via via then what happen yeah then we reach late and then we take it out on the staff 
you say i don't want to fly this hell and we we get every day that i don't want i booked my ticket 3 months ago and i'm not getting seats together my family is all separated i don't so we tell them okay sir they then then the ground staff have no other option but to tell them ki you all go in the aircraft they la now where in the aircraft are you going to adjust nobody is willing to change seats so we also give them we do try we try we request people ki you know they're traveling with children give them seats together please change seats with them we request but when he starts shouting the first thing we do is see the boarding number now we know what is the story so now you can't tell him so we say okay we'll try best of him we manage some seats at least we'll give three people together and two people together aisa karke we'll give you when he school down everything is over then he'll come and say thank you you adjusted me and all that is the time he says sir out of 300 your booking number your boarding number was 280 if you come late how will you get seats together sir next time make sure you come early right so he also knows that it is oh yeah, yeah i reach late you know what traffic was there you i saw who i was they also smart so now he knows that you have known that it is his fault then he is thanda then you tell him next time sir he is come only sir so that you don't have this issue again he has got the point right so that is but at that time if i told him when he is late and he is angry he, why you came 280 you should have come one number you would have got you will get more you will get more angry so that is your tact at dealing with him okay then uh, so where were we oh. uh, even if we disagree with complaining uh, case something happened to trigger their perception uh, something is uh, even if we don't agree with them something has bothered them so we have to find out what it is so listen to what they are saying and turn negative into positive so to treat them well turn negative into positive the least you can do is apologize as i told you always apologize whether it's your fault or their fault apologize you are paid for it yes even if you are apologizing for the guest feeling upset and demonstrate what changes you have made if appropriate also show him what you have done so that he will feel he he knows that you are trying your best that uh, that itself will cool him half 50% down fear of flying there are a lot of yeah there are a lot of uh, people who are fear, fear, have fear of flying they are scared you have to deal with them also you have to calm them down also they will be very nervous right from the beginning they will be getting up sitting down this sitting you know fidgeting so you have to talk to them calm them down flight flight crying babies flight and fight responsible people fight sometimes we have had fist fight also mara mari actual mara mari we have had we had had to deal with it yeah 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 we have had ek dusre ko mara isko mara we have had yeah yeah we have had those days but uh, not any more now initially because now with security going up everybody is scared ki you will be disbarred from flying but those days we have had customer interaction task orientation customer service so we go into customer relation management crm as i told you is customer relation management in aircraft in the airline is called crew relay crew resource management all companies have this thing crm it's basically your relationship with your customer how to approve those are the things that they teach you how your relationship um, and with a customer relationship with the management relationship with your subordinates and relationships with your uh, all, all stages of your company so basically it is uh, um, you don't have to go into these details they're not telling you to go all you know is that they are, they are uh, just put it up customer relationship management refers to practices strategies and technologies that companies use to manage record and evaluate customer interactions 
in order to drive sales growth by deepening and enriching relationships with the customer bases so what they are doing is just collecting data also they are collecting different data from different places coming out with strategies means rules and regulations and just so that their your relationship is better working environment gets better and you have a better more communication with your your guest or your passengers crm is a term used that refers to practices strategies and technologies that companies use to manage and analyze customers interactions and data through customer life cycle so all his data which goes into the database they analyze it and they realize what type of customers you are dealing with day in and day out okay assisting in customer retention to keep the that helps you keep your customers when you understand your customers okay they will come at driving sales growth basically it is for increasing your sales growth crm systems are designed to compile information on customers across different channels so they also have a database where they uh, they compile all the information on like these regular travelers at regular hotel mein jo aate hai for business and all they take a data and they, your likes your dislikes like even they uh, they keep their uh, birthdays anniversary days all that so without fail they make sure that if somebody's birthday is there they'll send a cake and a bouquet to the room so customers happy that you have remembered is birthday right small things but makes a big impact okay different channels or points of contact between customer and company which could include the company's website telephone it could be the website telephone live chat or you you get nowadays right every anything you go online you see live chat at the site it's all immediately they say so and so would like to talk chat with you it is basically to understand you to Uh, today, if you open the phone and uh, say, "Okay, trip to Goa," right? You check out hotels in Goa. Immediately, you will get so much of Goa hotels online. You noticed internet? You you will get everything about Goa. You will get all the hotels, all the bookings, because they pick up that thing. And they, this is how because they want business, right? So that's the only way of getting business: marketing materials and social media. so immediately everything is picked up crm systems can also give customer facing staff detailed information on customs personal information birthday anniversary day everything personal information his likes his dislikes what does he do what he generally eats what he generally drinks all this goes into it. purchase history on the net Amazon you purchase something your purchase history will keep on showing you that at uh, those things only you purchase clothes they'll show you clothes you purchase uh, instruments is buying preferences what do you prefer buying and the concerns all that should this is part of CRM only okay everything they chose you minute it picks up you just put in for something and it will pick up so now it is a computer picking up initially it was done manually common features of crm software what is the software they use they have a marketing automation crm tools with marketing automation capabilities can automate repetitive tasks means those tasks which are done all the time and enhance marketing efforts to customers at different points in life cycle uh, in life cycle for example as sales prospects come into the system a system might automatically send them marketing materials why typically via email or social media with a goal to turning a sales lead into a fully fledged customer so this is some same like marketing like clothes you you put in in the this thing that oh you want dresses what happens 500 dresses people will immediately pick up that and mark this is a marketing tool same sales force uh sales force automation is meant to prevent duplicate efforts between sale person and customer so they don't want the same customer to have the same sales people doing the talk so to avoid duplicate they will uh, do that crm system can achieve this by automatically tracking all contacts and follow ups on both the sides so both the sides they can follow up 
contact center automation designed to reduce tedious aspects of contact center agents job so there are people who are just doing jobs of contacting people like an agents so again so that to reduce that uh contact center automation might include pre-recorded audios that assist in customers problem solving if the same problem is there every time and then they generally put the videos you know like taped conversations which you hear how can i help you and then it starts like that and information dissemination even if you book a ticket online they will tell you contact center uh hello they say good morning you have reached air india this thing dial 1 for uh, reservations dial 2 for this dial 3 for or dial to speak to a customer same contact center automation same thing it is uh location geo location technology and location based services some crm uh, systems include technology that can create geographic marketing campaigns based on customers physical locations sometimes integrating with popular location based gps apps geolocation technology can also be used as a networking and contact tool uh, a contact management tool in order to find sales prospects based on location a uh, person uh, wants to go on a trip say you want to go mountaineering or trekking you google one what happens you'll show you 100 marketing places to go to you want you put in the seaside you get seaside 100 so location wise they will give do the marketing for you how is marketing done on social media today it's done like that only you say you want to travel to kerala you backwaters what happens they will give you 10 different people taking you to backwaters they'll tell you which is the best hotels in, to stay in kerala where you can do house boat you know go into the boat and stay all these are location based services okay these are the automations that they use so do you have four automation sales contact geo location and the first one which is that the first one marketing so common features of crm software include these are your four and for you will answer marketing sales contact geolocation technology automations what are the four automations in crm okay what is crm number 1 that question is a must you have to know that for any airline any job so what is crm and what is what are the uh, common crm software automations okay what is the next ha huh? this is over this module okay so module 9 we are going to see how we deal with customer compliments our customer issues okay customer complaints are inevitable means unavoidable if you run a business that sells to the public no matter how great your goods or services are the old age will ev- the uh, sorry old adage will eventually be proven true you cannot please 100% of the people 100% of the time so it's a old saying old adage means an old saying which is true that you cannot please 100% of the people 100% of the time somebody will always be up, um, unhappy or always have a negative comment but still we have to continue so rules resolving your know, you know, as it rules revolve resolving your customer service issues most customers concerns can be dealt with simply by complying with the person's reasonable request So if he has a reasonable request most of the time you can solve it from time to time however you will come across those customers who will demand something that is simply unwarranted or impossible to deliver no matter the issue at heart of the complaint it is important to remember the rules these rules when resolving your customer service issues so how do we we have to resolve certain uh to, to resolve these issues there are certain rules we remember keeping guests happy as i told you first and foremost is listen 
whenever you set to handle a customer complaint the first thing you must do is listen listen to the customer to figure out why they are upset listen to the customer to determine whether any of the policies were not abided by you did not follow any rules and regulations or if this is something outside and not contemplated by your systems means this is outside your work listen to what they want from you to resolve the issue a refund a replacement someone else to replace their current service representative at your company so what could be there just listen all too often we are defensive we get angry and we speak back defensive when dealing with customer complaints being defensive at least at the onset can inhibit your ability to truly understand why the customer is not satisfied with product if you immediately if he tells you that okay i don't like your product no sir you say our product is good even before saying letting him say what he doesn't like the product is not going to help you in your conversation let him tell you the entire thing what he is unhappy with the product and then they will tell you the pro- problem how they think it should be resolved and give you a critical window into thinking on the matter so before you say anything before you attempt to explain anything challenge the complain and offer a resolution to the situation you listen so they might tell you you know no you do it this way and this way hold on be let him be a little calm you think about it whether it is within your work rules and regulations and then deal with the matter so basically first listen that is our um that is our first and foremost point okay second is understand next is put yourself in the shoes of the customer put yourself in his place and see what you would have done in that case even you would even you tend to get upset when you are a customer so put yourself in given what you know try and see their point of why they told you and you agree to it until you view the issue from their perspective you cannot have a complete picture of the reason for complaint so always think if i was in their shoes how would i feel if this happened to me how would i feel think from their point of view they're not always wrong also okay even if you are the customer sometimes there is a problem you get angry and you get upset and you shout at the store guy he is simply working there so you also have to understand when you deal with them that he is working this is your view but he can do only so much he can't go beyond his scope okay elevate once you have heard the complaint and understand the basis for the same elevate the customer to a supervisor or manager where possible when you can't deal with it please call your supervisor manager if the issue is with frontline employee this will instantly remove some if not all customers acrimony towards the current representative at the company allowing them to have a more open conversation with them so first anger is going to be at you okay can't resolve later on it will be taken further once this move alone is sufficient to elevate some of the customers concern by instilling them a sense of importance that their complaint is significant enough to be elevated to someone higher in the chain of command what they trying to say is when you hand it over to a senior person they feel ke okay their complaint is important and that you are handing it over to a senior person you can't do it that itself will cool them a little one note of caution while elevating be careful to fully inform the person the issue of being elevated to and relevant facts prior to having them speak with the customer now customer is all, suppose unhappy with you he has got a complaint is told him that i don't want to talk to you get me a manager fault maybe yours fault maybe his whatever now what happens is that before you let him speak to the manager go to the manager and speak to yourself say like this like this happened he got unnecessary angry or he got angry so please deal with him tell him the issue you have to give him information before he meets the customer directly so see that you speak to him and tell him all the facts if this is not done the new representative will be in a position which they must ask the customer to repeat what done because again they'll have to ask him to repeat again he'll get more agitated so already explain what has happened 
with most customers as a vent part of the venting process will gladly share their story again with the supervisor so even if you brief the supervisor you can tell the customer please talk to my supervisor he is going to tell his story again because they like to tell their stories no frustration they have to remove so that's why well most uh, yeah uh, the supervisor they should not be made to feel they must do so for the process and continue to run as go so you have to slowly cut the story also and deal with it because otherwise it's going to go on for hours so you need to cut it there also okay no fighting defend if you must you can defend yourself but do not fight with the customer what is the difference you may ask often it comes down to tone and respect your tone is very important when you are listening to or talking to even if you say sorry it depends on your tone whether you mean it or not if you say i'm sorry sir you know i'll look into the matter you know you say i'm sorry i'm looking into the matter you said the same thing your tone is different that will make him angry so lower your tone speak with respect so that he knows that you're looking to is the way you say the words it's the same words it's the tone of your voice okay so make sure that your tone is correct recall whether correct or not the customer believes that they are correct as i told you as such they may be 100% wrong but fighting about the issue will only exacerbate the complaint so 100 means exacerbate uh, ex- exacerbate means to increase a small thing make a thing big to it, you know in a little choti baat when you make it big that is the meaning of this word so 100% they may be wrong they will make a issue about a small thing into a big thing still you cannot tell them you are wrong you say we are wrong okay your job in handling the matter is to listen understand and discuss with the customer their concerns in a calm and friendly manner while conducting an open discussion regarding the regarding the issues complained of and how they will be respond so your manner has to be calm friendly your tone low always fighting with the customer will never resolve the issue it will only lead to heightened aggression and anger on their part they'll get more angry more upset as such calmly defend your policies or personnel if you must do so sometimes if you feel that they are getting angry on your staff who are junior to you and who are new to handling things manager immediately comes and removes them from the site in order to defend the person to take care of the person so you have to do that but do it in a very uh, not an obvious way uh, but do not permit the conversation to erode into an argument at any point do not make it a big fight at any point you have to handle it calmly and that is the most important part of customer service resolution offer a resolution if possible you can solve a problem solve it once you have listened and understood the customer's complaint and have avoided fighting over the same divert the customer's focus on how you intend to resolve the matter now you heard his story you tell him what you're going to do you're trying going to try and make it better and if you can do it if you can hand it over to the senior person uh, he will tell him no in a nicer way then you can because he is used to it okay here it is difficult to include all manners of resolution which can be offered given the nature and scope of goods and services which could be offered but some suggestions include offering a refund or partial refund of money paid so it could be partial or full if un- if warranted if it's required discounts on future goods and services is another popular remedy sometimes if you can't return the products then you can tell them so next time you come we'll give you a further discount simple if the issue is personal uh, personal specific simply offer to change means if he has a problem with a person who's handing him remove that person and put somebody else in his place change out the representative with another uh, will of suffice uh, suffice means will be sufficient by removing that representative and putting somebody else in his place the psychology of offering a resolution cannot be understated recall that the goal 
is to resolve the customer dispute and the customer being fully satisfied with your goods or services so the problem is that the customer at the end should be satisfied with your goods or services if the customer complain is unwarranted listening understanding elevating and offering some form of resolution allows the customer to feel that they have won that they were correct and that your organization wants you to make it right so let them feel that they are right they have done a correct job and they have won it helps keeping the customer for most this will resolve the issue and they will be satisfied unfortunately however there will always be a select few that you cannot please no matter what you offer there may be there are a lot of people whom you cannot please you can't help those guy for those you must incorporate resolve means you must try hand it up or resolve what is resolve in every customer service situation you will ultimately come to a point where you can where you can and cannot do to address the issue most situations will be able to be addressed and the customer issue resolved to their satisfaction unfortunately from time to time there will be issues which simply cannot be resolved whether it is because of the customer is requesting something that is outside your policies or such matters or is simply being unreasonable in their request sometimes you cannot make him happy at all for these customers you must understand that despite your best reasonable efforts to offer a reasonable resolution they are unwilling to join you in reality and accordingly although our aim is to please the customer if that the customer demands cannot be satisfied you must maintain your best offered solution and no more give him the best you can and leave it because at times you cannot more at all uh, satisfy him writing ultimately what is said and done and as a resolution has or has not been reached always takes time to memorialize the same in writing as in most cases the matter is resolved to the customer satisfaction you will want to send the customer a brief follow up email confirming that the issue has now been resolved we have to send them an email saying that we have solved your issue or we could not do it we apologize for that okay and be specific the resolution involved in those unfortunate times where the solution cannot be reached you want to send them an email uh, clearly memorizing it as memorizing it should be what transpired such that if the issue ever comes back you can quickly review the email and worst in the same as needed means if they, you cannot uh, solve the thing you can email it down that you could not solve it and the reason so you can refer back to it okay learn about all customer complaints as a manner to learn about potential flaws in your system maintain a mandate manner of tracking customer complaints check com- customer complaints and see what are the main issues is it happening too often if there are too many complaints on one matter It's like in the service industry suppose um, uh no uh, customers asked you for certain drinks or foods it's not available couple of times make sure it is there talk to your managers in other places other complaints that you cannot give them uh, see that repeated complaints of the same thing does not come manner maintain a manner of tracking customer complaints and the resolution there of such that over time trends and specific issues may be identified to the point that if you see one or more specific situations occurring with frequency systems can be amended so those problems which come frequently should be able to be amended and put in place to order the same so that in future you don't come across the same complaints okay now they've given you certain tips for uh, dealing with customers tips for dealing with table reservation problems people who uh like to go out for dinner generally book a table so that you don't have to keep waiting right so it's with them so when you reach there when the table is not ready then this mr sam has booked a table so he said i'm very sorry mr sam sam your table is not ready it will be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes would you like to have a drink at the lounge bar while waiting so you are giving them an option instead of standing outside the restaurant fault is yours 
so you don't have a seat so i was asking him would you like to have a drink by the time his drink is going to take you half an hour your table will be ready okay when the guest table reserved has been given away suppose you have given it away to somebody else by mistake or whatever reason so apologize say i am very sorry mr sam we have given your table by mistake i am very sorry request the guest to wait may we host you a drink at the bar while we solve the problem when you say host you it means we are giving it to you free so you have given us table away fault is yours you have to make up by it not letting him go to keep him by giving him a drink and signing off the drink for that you need authority so your manager will will tell you whether to give it or not if the guest agrees to wait by the bar then you tell him this way please mr sam when you arrive at the bar i hope you will enjoy your drink i will return when the table is ready so he is happy you are happy for whatever mistake okay next is try to offer the guest another table you can do that also alternatively i apologize for keeping you waiting i have arranged another table for you i think you will like it please come with me and i'll show you the table so when you he arrives at the table you ask him is this table fine mr sam or is this table suitable for you he says yes or no now if the guest doesn't like the alternative table you will say can i also offer you a table in the corner or with a view or something like that would you prefer to sit there i'm sorry but there are no tables available so he will understand yeah so it's a way of how you put it the guest reserved table has been given away and no table is free now again i'm sorry mr kelvin we have given you a table by mistake if a table will be free soon i will inform you about it now request the guest to wait mr table mr kelvin table will be free in 30 minutes may i host you a drink in the bar while you wait again you can say i hope you enjoy your drink your table is ready and when return you take the guest to the table when the table is ready again and you put the person at the table i apologize for keeping you waiting i have arranged another table for you i think you will like it kindly come with me i'll show you to your table this is the way you speak to them okay If the guest will not wait until the table is ready, would you like me to arrange a table for you at the Thai restaurant inside instead? You can give him. See, you don't need to put him in another restaurant. If he doesn't get a table, he can easily go and find himself on that. But the very fact that you are helping him, that can I get you at least another? You are helping him get a table. He know that you are concerned, that you are apologetic, that you are. feeling bad that he couldn't give you a table so at least he will, you can try that way so always uh, guest uh, hotels are in contact with each other so you can always call them up check if there is a table free uh, if yes then escort the guest to the restaurant you can show them the guest if it's nearby or you can tell them honey guest complaints and problems in a restaurant coffee shop approach the guest and ask for like if there's a problem excuse me sir may i help you mr sanyu uh listen with concern and empathy these are um the question here you will answer is how do you handle guest complaints you will write listen with concern and empathy stay calm never argue all these points you will uh, write okay be aware of your try to use the guest name frequently offer choices don't promise the impossible set approximate time for corrective actions means tell him it will take me half an hour one one hour whatever tell him the exact time monitor the progress follow up even if the complaint was resolved by somebody else contact the guest again ask whether it's satisfactory what you have done is satisfactory all these corrective things so when there is so this how do you handle complaints you will have to write all these points okay apologizing and taking action as per issue i'm sorry mr samuel you can say i'm terribly sorry please accept our apologies if you're talking on behalf of the hotel you'll say our apologies if you have made a mistake you'll say my apologies okay for complaints about food shall i bring you another juice i'll bring you one right away if he is complained about the juice or whatever i'll change it right away i'll speak to the chef if he is not happy with his food would you like your steak cooked a little more suppose his steak is a 
piece of meat that they eat they eat it in different ways they eat it raw which is called rare they medium rare and very well done so if it's it's not cooked to his liking you can ask him would you like to cook it more would you like to order something else i'll have kitchen prepare something for you would you like a wine while you wait for your me- a meal it's a different ways of dealing with food. uh about the service i'll attend to it right away i'll look into the matter at once you can use these lines i'll see uh see about your order right away excuse me mr bernard it will be another 15 minutes for chicken soup to get ready your food will be ready in 15 minutes thank you for your patience this is a better way to say it okay about the, suppose the air conditioning is not working or whatever i'll turn your air conditioning up and down would you like to move to a warmer or a cooler place table about the table i'm afraid all the tables are already taken i'll let you know when one is free if he wants a table near the pool or the table near the lake view i'm sorry but the restaurant is full this is the only table i can offer spillage at break anything you break and you spill let me help you mr wilson i'll fetch you a towel some water has fallen i do apologize for the accident mr langer may i have it dry clean for you if you ruined his dress his coat his shirt you will have to try clean it mistakes happen so then dialogue about handling complaint guest is saying when i first arrived i was assured a bottle of shivas regal would be at the mini bar mini bar is a bar which is inside your room it's uh, some liquor and some snacks are kept there and uh, it's not always complimentary it if it's complimentary they'll tell you but mostly it's charged So when I first arrived I was assured that a bottle of Shiraz Regal would be waiting in the mini bar. Well I'm here now and the bottle isn't. What kind of hotel you are running here? Guest is angry because he was promised a mini a bottle of Shiraz it's not there. Staff I sincerely apologize for the oversight sir. We've been exceedingly busy today because of the convention. I'll have a complimentary bottle delivered immediately. Please accept it with our compliments. This is the way you're supposed to answer. Again, guest. Well, I hope it should be complimentary. It means free. Guests are typical; they want everything free. So, thank you. Goodbye. No guest is still angry only. It's okay. Second guest, this tea is sweetened. I special uh, specifically asked for unsweetened tea. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll bring unsweetened tea immediately. Please excuse the mistake. Now, this guest is a little okay. He says no problem. Things happen. So here's your tea. Let me know if I can be a further assistant. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your tea. Thank you. Next guest. I had reserved a tennis court, but it has taken over by someone else. Staff saying yes, sir. I understand, but we have a policy that if a party is more than 15 minutes late for a starting time, we schedule our courts for the other waiting guests. So the this is their rule. They have not done a wrong thing. They have done the right thing. Guest is late. Okay. So I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like us to reschedule? So you let him know that this is the policy, but we can only reschedule. This is the way you will answer. Guests, I had requested the eggs over hard. They are over easy. He wanted hard boiled eggs. These are easy. So sorry about that, sir. Let me make you some more right away. All you can do is ask the chef to make right away. Now this uh, passenger is even more angry. We have run out of toilet paper. So is it the bathroom? There's no toilet paper. Is it possible to get more? Of course, ma'am. I'll send up more immediately. Is there anything else you require? So these are the way they've just given you the way you are supposed to answer. Okay. Um. So we'll go to how to take food orders. Servers should offer guest a beverage at all meals. period meal periods on the first approach to the table so first approach as you go in any restaurant you see that you are you are they ask you what would you like to drink beverage it may be liquor or it may be a soft drink that's the first thing you offer because by the time they offer they order the meal and the meal gets ready it takes time so till then you can't keep them just hanging so you give them a soft drink so oh. so your first order should be a soft drink At breakfast, you will order order offer orange juice, which is generally had for breakfast. 
At lunch you can offer bottled water, you can offer wine, you can offer cola, you can offer whatever. See nobody drinks Coca-Cola in the morning, so it's only orange juice in the morning. But for lunch people have cola, Sprite, whatever. At dinner bottled water is offered before the course. At dinner you also take drinks, order. Would they like to have soft drinks, hard drinks, whatever, alcohol uh, or beverages? All servers should be trained so that they are knowledgeable of and able to explain the entire menu. You, Whether you serve in the aircraft or whether you serve in the hotel, you have to know your entire menu. You have to know what is which and non which the difference between that. You have to know what you are serving because some dishes have a name, like it will be chicken nilgiri. So you'll say, what is chicken nilgiri? And you'll say, I don't know, it's just a name. You can't say that, you'll have to explain why it's called nilgiri. What are the ingredients that go in it, okay? So then, so after, also, uh, yeah, and explain the entire, also capable of making it. Sometimes you ask in hotel, Ki, what do you recommend? What is best served in your hotel? And they tell you the recommendations, Ki, our hotel serves the best uh, moglaya, whatever recommendation you can have. Would you like to have a buffet or a la carte? Buffet is, you know what a buffet is, right? It's not buffet, it's buffet. Buffet, tea is silent. A la carte is when you order separately on your menu. That's called a la carte. It's a French word. In case the uh, guests opt for buffet, then uh, inform guests to start serving himself from the... Now, uh, please start serving yourself from the buffet when you're ready. I. You can say this, but don't start. I don't think it's still right by saying, please start serving yourself. You can just say, sir, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead with the meats. Start serving yourself doesn't sound too good also. Yeah. A la carte means when you order from the menu, you want this, you want this, you want this. Special order. Huh? No compliment food. When you go to a restaurant, there are two types of restaurant, a la carte and buffet. Buffet is when it is served and you go and help yourself to whatever you want. Unlimited. You eat. A la carte is when you choose from the menu. You've chosen, there are five dishes of chicken, five dishes of mutton, five dishes of vegetarian. What dish you want, what soup you want, what salad, that's a la carte. What basically we do, that's an, but that the right word for that is a la carte. Yeah. So sometimes they ask you, so sometimes restaurants have both, a la carte and buffet. So they ask you, would you like to go for a la carte or buffet? Then you say, what is a la carte? So now you should know what is a la carte, okay? Yeah, it, it's welcome. In case a guest opts for buffet, yeah. In case a guest opts for a la carte, then ask the question, uh, ask the question, would you like to place your order now? He wants some more time. If he's not ready, he'll say, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson, I will come back for your order when you're ready. In case he's ready, you can take the all the Yes, Mr. Wilson, what would you like to start with? He may want to start with uh, dessert, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, a soup, a salad, or he may directly want to go to the main meal. Depends on that, okay? Uh, what would you like to start with and to follow? Just let it go. And for you, Mrs. Wilson? If there is a Mrs. Wilson at the side, also if there is a Mrs. Wilson at the side, your first order will be to Mrs. Wilson. Ladies first, then the men. Okay? So you have to remember that also, the ladies to be served and asked first. What kind of bread would you like? What kind of sauce would you like? Depends. Each different portion sizes to the guests. Uh, explain different portion size and assist with the menu. Sometimes what happens is they ask you how big is the you know the curry, the dish. Is it enough for two people, three people? Yeah, a quantity. Explain to them. I think it would be enough for two people or three people. Would you like to order? Uh, so, method of cooking also. Sometimes uh, they ask you, Ki, um, you say I want, I would like eggs for breakfast. Then you will say, Ki, what type? How would you like your eggs done? So you will say, I would like my eggs fried. I would like an omelet. I would like poached, means steamed eggs. I would like um, scrambled, means like burji. So all these, when you ask about fish, boiled, smoked, poached, steamed. These are different ways of giving fish. Uh, pork shoulder, people who eat pork, 
it is braised with apples and served with cheesy grits means it could be with served with cheesy sort of uh, fries or with apples it's marin you could tell them it's marinated in garlic lemon oregano greek salad all these degrees of flavor you can find out what number 7 find out what a guest likes and make suggestions and recommends accordingly from while talking to him you'll know particularly what is tasa is from the menu when he asked you to so suggest would you care for something light spice would you like a spicy meal a mild would you do you want a snack or do you want a full meal you can suggest whatever it is today's speciality is pomegranate chicken so whatever your menu is you can say uh, say something positive about the food you can say our dish is a particular dish is very positive is a very popular people like it it's uh, delicious very tasty i'm sure you'll enjoy it may i recommend the hot and sour soup may i recommend the chicken you can use these words okay now look there upar kar mention the food preparation time and finish whenever you take an order and he is giving you a like a meat order or some order which is going to take time to prepare please tell them okay so it will take about 20 minutes i hope you don't mind and can i give you a drink till then would you like to have a drink can i serve you a drink breakfast will be ordered in 10 minutes lunch in 12 minutes this we cannot say but just ask them whether they would like something timing till your order is ready or can i give you a snack or a starter or a salad they will order something else okay so this is your know, next what is it okay so your module is over this is one of the typical papers let's do the paper i'm sure nobody will answer me from here veena you're on <laughs> she say every time she catches me Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're on. Okay, here number one. Jadu is number two. Define the following. Define any one thing. Tell me. Uh, What a hotel or motel? Define. You can you define that? Uh, I think I can define that a con- concierge. 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 Say it properly. Concierge. Concierge. Yeah. Okay. Define concierge. uh it's the one who is in the, in a ho- hotel uh, like a porter uh don't say like a porter say they in the hotel at the entrance and they deal with baggage that's a better way to put it okay, okay. yeah you, you're not wrong at all veena they they do like a, they do the portage only but we put it in better words they handle portage they handle mail and they also uh, help you in um, uh, in directions or if you want to you know insight see okay yeah. okay define the uh, sandwich chal i'm giving you easy one a uh, sandwich is a food uh, which we it's a food yes but what is it is it a meal is it a snack what is it i think it's a snack it is a snack it is generally uh how is it made uh it's made with butter uh, bread and uh, like yeah. yeah and um other ingredients it could be like cucumber tomato yes. uh, a vegetarian it could for non vegetarian it could be chinese okay yes okay now i'll ask my students who are here okay yes, sure mm. tell me ki can you see so this is how you'll get the paper define the following greek cuisine what is greek cuisine proper etiquettes okay uh give me one name of one salad i'm not even asking you 10 salads give me one name of one salad okay green salad fruit salad yes but any one other than that they said fruit salad and green salad okay you have greek salad also world of salad russian salad anyone you can give me oh. ma'am okay. sprout salad 
sprout salad, salad also yes correct very good okay can somebody answer me what's a hamburger come on you all go to mcdonald's i'm sure you know what is a hamburger tell me what's an hamburger what is hamburger janvi ma'am it's a non veg burger ma'am yeah, it's a non veg burger yeah it's a, what is it suppose i ask you what is a hamburger what will you say how is it made it made by grilled that mean it fried pan no what what i don't i have just come straight from the village i don't know what's a burger you tell me explain burger to me ma'am it's a uh, third the various condiment like uh, fried or grilled it's typically a bread like bread roll garnish yeah, so so you will say ki there is, it's a grilled patty veg or non veg in between two breads uh, right a burger Yes, yeah ma'am. it could be chicken burger mutton lamb burger or ham burger or it could be a veg burger so it's meat patty between two bread two buns right that is a simple definition of it french words you have to learn because they are going to ask you french words for knife glass the bread milk simple words they are so they are going to ask you okay Hmm? You know any of the words in French? Anybody knows? Anybody studied French? Milk. Milk is a very common word uh, in French. It's called lait, L-A-I-T, for milk. And E-A-U, actually L apostrophe E-A-U, low for water. Uh, knife. I have forgotten my French, but. Uh, you can read uh, bread is pain p a i n so these words are given in your dictionary in the book you are going to read that it's going to come okay huh yes yes you have in the pdf uh write briefly about food handling on aircraft so this is what will come come you will have to write about that uh, one of your modules in which i have done the aircraft um, Uh, yeah you have to write uh, uh, write these answers if you can basic principles of dining etiquette what are the etiquette for dining dinner table etiquette um amenities voucher how is it filled what will you fill in the amenities voucher columns fill the correct word okay vivek first he is lazy he never does dash work he never work Hmm. Any work? They put a door there. They. Any work, man? Uh, any work? It cannot be any work because they have put door. there is no answer which is right because he has put the you cannot say he never does some the work you cannot say he never does any the work you cannot say he does uh, no the work so it ca- he does if he if you write some then it will be he never uh, does some of the work he never does any work he does no work so none of them are correct okay Hmm. Okay, the transport service is very good. There is a bus dash ten minutes. Every ten minutes. Every ten minutes. Okay. Correct. Correct. I will not buy anything because dash of the shops were open. Because none of the shops were open. None of the shops were open. It was a great party. Dash enjoyed it. Everybody. Each of us or everybody. Everybody. Everybody enjoyed it. Is correct. Every of us, every of us is wrong. Every one of us would have been correct. 
but every of us is wrong everybody of us is wrong each of us you can use each of us enjoyed it you can use everybody enjoyed it okay i have given dash to i have given dash to sonu okay. all of them all of them all of them the sonu okay can you raise the thing please true or false it's always safe to take a room in the upper level of the lower level right the disaster management we learned yesterday yes. oh boy is the name of a sandwich find out the answer whole <laughs> straw is a non veg sandwich wrong it's a salad you go to mcdonald <laughs> they give you a small salad cabbage ka salad that's called slaw it's a salad while drinking wine on di- uh, on a dinner it is acceptable not to finish each glass false or true <laughs> it is acceptable they are not telling you you have to do it it is acceptable not to finish the glass true or false true true true, true. true. actually you must leave a little always it's acceptable to drink A pub is a place where drinking is not allowed. Yeah, we make this thing false. 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 Wide body aircrafts are equipped with re- refrigerators and chiller units. True. While attending a bomb scare call, you should remain calm and listen. Yeah, listen very properly. True. true. Okay. Cup sandwiches must be served only in clubs. False. False. Club sandwiches are served everywhere in hotels. Maitre D is another word for restaurant manager. Yes, I want answers from you all because you all have done it. True. True. Correct. Bar boy must be highly educated and experienced to work in the hotel. True. 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 He needs to learn his wines. He has to be educated. Bar boy is one who handles a bar. He's a bar, and he has to know knowledge of liquor before he does that. Okay. Um, explain the following: How to handle a bomb threat call? so this this types of questions will come classifications of hotels based on what categories so what are the classifications your first module we did that as well anything below done all yeah so this is how your question paper will be 100 marks 3 hours and when uh, just just put it on again um 5 marks are there for each uh, question 10 marks there uh true and false and fill the uh, fill the correct word will be easy the first 20 marks and the first uh, those marks are not going to be easy so you'll have to write a paragraph it won't be in one line those answers number 1 to 9 uh, will not be in one line will be a little bit of explanation so you'll have to write it in in about a paragraph explaining what it is like do five don'ts at dinner table uh, principles of this 10 salads all this okay so, so so we have finished this module any questions yeah guys put your camera on let me see all yeah any questions Any questions? Nothing. Everybody is understood. A- anything? Somebody is not understood. Wants me to repeat. Vina, you are the only one who answers me. Janvi, put your mic on. Yeah. Anything? You all okay? You need uh, any questions? No, ma'am. Yes, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So get uh, ready for the exam now. Ma'am, when will be the exam? Ah, I'm not going to tell you that. First, you study. <laughs> so study and get ready. Nargis, ma'am will tell you when is the exam. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Have a nice weekend, all of you. Thank 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 you.
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too.